Uh, I suppose uh, one of the biggest problems with patellar femoral pain you have, uh, you generally have weak quadriceps, quadriceps atrophy. We want to try and strengthen them, we know that that helps, but um, we're worried that doing heavy strengthening might put too much strain through the patellar femoral joint, uh, which could potentially stir their symptoms up and um, obviously it just helps them really well. Um, and so blood flow restriction training is a way of strengthening muscles at a much lower load than your conventional strength training program. So uh, we thought using blood flow restriction training might be a, a novel way of strengthening the muscles, improving symptoms hopefully, and then um, without putting so much strain through the joint. Yeah. And what were some of the key findings from the study? Um, so basically overall we found that in terms of pain, it didn't have a major effect compared to just the regular strength training. Um, there was a little, there was a um, greater increase in pain with like daily activity, going up and down stairs and squatting. But that was also significantly different at baseline, so we weren't we can't be one hundred percent sure that that's right. Um, but in terms of strength gains, I guess the most important thing was for people who had quite painful knees and they weren't able to do the strengthening exercise properly. They did much better, they got much better strength gains if they were doing blood flow restriction training than if they were doing the regular strength training. Yeah. And any take home messages for the clinicians out there? Yeah, so if, if you've got someone with patellofemoral pain who you think won't tolerate heavy loads from strength training, so you think that whether they're too painful or their joint, maybe there's more pathology than you think is going to tolerate it, um, you can do blood flow restriction training. Uh, if you're aiming to increase strength, it will have, have a greater effect. Enjoy the rest of the conference, Lockie, and thanks for sharing some great insight. Thank you.